next we shall see what are inverted page table so in normal page table we know that for each process we are having a separate page table and the number of entries of the page table is equal to the number of pages of the process then to execute a process we should keep the entire process or a part of the process in the main memory then whether the entire process or the part of the process is kept in the main memory for execution the page table of that process should be kept in the main memory so suppose we have three processes p1 p2 and p3 residing in the main memory at the same time that is the part of each of these processes that is some of the frames of each of some of the pages of each of these processes are kept in the main memory then the page table of all the processes should be kept in the main memory so the problem is the page tables of all these processes will consume a lot of memory space this will require a considerable amount of memory space so to overcome this problem we go for inverted page table in this method we keep one single global page table for all the processes that is all the processes share this single page table and the number of entries in the page table is equal to the number of frames of the main memory here for each process a separate page table and the number of entries in each page table is equal to the number of pages of the process and here it is the number of frames within the main memory and in normal page table the page number is acting as an index and each entry contains the information regarding what is the frame number to which this page number is mapped and in inverted page table the frame number is acting as an index and each entry contains the information regarding what is the page number and the page belongs to which process we have to identify the process also since we are using a single page table for all the processes we should identify the process so which page of which process is loaded to this frame of the main memory so instead of all these page tables separate page tables for the processes if we use the single inverted page table what will be the entries the page 0 of process 3 is loaded to the frame 1 of the main memory page 0 of process 3 is loaded to frame 1 of the main memory hence frame 1 contains page 0 of process 3 then page 0 of process 2 is loaded to frame 2 of the main memory thus frame 2 contains page 0 of process 2 similarly page 0 of process 1 is loaded to frame 3 frame 3 contains page 0 of process 1 then frame 5 contains page 3 of process 1 frame 5 contains page 3 of process 1 finally this one the page 4 of process 3 is loaded to frame 6 this frame 6 contains page 4 of process 3 so by using the inverted page table we will be able to save a considerable memory space so how to do this address translation by using inverted page table now cpu will generate suppose we have all the three processes uh, p1 p2 and p3 residing in the main memory and we have also loaded the inverted page table for these processes to the main memory now the processes are under execution cpu is generating a logical address and it belongs to process p1 now 
and the logical address can be split into two parts the page number and the offset so in normal paging we use this page number as an index to the page table but here we cannot use so we need this page number along with the process identifier by taking the page number and the process identifier we have to search the entire inverted page table to get the frame to which the page of our process is loaded so suppose we have to search for page 0 of process 1 then search this entire inverted page table come to this entry page 0 of process 1 it's loaded to frame 3 of the main memory so the problem with inverted page table is even though it can save a lot of memory space the search time is high because we have to search the entire inverted page table to get the physical address.